attorney, because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, so we're going to move on here. We're going to start off with the NASDAQ here today. Uh, excuse my voice, folks. It's the Palo Verdes. Uh, you'll notice here, this is the September contract, and as you can see, this is the action today. There was your early morning low. From there, it went up uh, 200 handles higher up here to 199.70. As you can see, the A... B, C, D format is a built right into that. As a matter of fact, I have it wrong because the high is wrong. Let me get this up here. Get this out of the way here for a second. And so we're going to be looking at this right here from your low up to your high. And that measures up to this level right here, which was 19,965. The high was 19,600 and uh, 68. Now, why would that be important? Well, we've been waiting for something for quite a while. We're just going to do the hourly chart here. And there it is, boys and girls. There's the high right there, the exact 382 of that move right there. After three days, it hit it exactly. And now it's starting to back off just a little bit. Now, should we get below this point right here, that would tell us that we're looking at a potential for the market to come down to this level right about here, which is the low way back here on the 11th. That's down here, another 500 points now. Folk, we, we made, uh, we came down here. That was uh, 03 to 06. That was 600 points right here. This is another one. This one took one, two, three, four days to do. Uh, maybe it's going to do something like that. I don't know. Now, if we look at the S&P 500, Let's get this up here. That's November beans. That's not going to help us. Okay. Now, here's the action so far today. I'm going to bring this up to show you what we were waiting for. And you'll notice here I've got this marked off right here that the 3A2 would come in here at 55.39. We only got as high as 55.32. Well, now it looks like we're ready to take out the lows here and possibly go a little bit lower. On the first move down from the other high that we made back here, oh, I've got to get the high up. Wow. Okay, from this high down to this low right here, went up to the exact 50% level. Okay, now if that's the case, we could be looking at an S&P that wants to come down a little bit more. There's your, you have to take this low, not this low. So you take that low right here, says we should get down here to uh, 554.88 uh, is what it's possibly looking for in the uh, market there. Okay, now let's take a look at a couple things that we were doing yesterday on the air here. We were watching the gold price, of course, which uh, was kind enough to do what we would hoped it was going to do. And that get right up to that level we were looking at. There it is right there. There's your number that we were looking at. You know what that number is, boys and girls. Let's just take a look at this. There's your hourly. There's your number right here. There's your 3, 8, uh, your A, B, C, D right there off of the high. Just draw it in so you can see it. There's your A, B. There's your C, D. Where is it? There it is right there. There's your A, B, C, D right there at 49, and it's dropped $2,000 here. That assumes that maybe the market is still weak in the gold market, that we could be getting down into this level uh, right over in here. Now, looking at this on a little shorter time frame, let's go back to that 13-minute, because it has some of the things that we like to see. First of all, there was the big 3A2. Then the market breaks down, okay, then makes the little 3A2, okay? That little 3A2, folks, is 900, well, it's over 1,000 bucks right now. And not only that, but what you're looking at now is potential little bounce coming into gold at this level right here. There's your AB leg right here. That's over two days, okay? 
Can we, excuse me, <laughs> two hours. And that means we should have some support coming here at 23, 24 is what I would be looking at. That'd be two, two reasons. That would be one reason right there. And the second reason would be the larger ABCD that is light, lighting up the, the path right here. So there's where your bottom should be coming down here in gold. That's down $27 from the high. All right. Now. What else did we do yesterday? Oh, we did crude oil. Let's get the crude oil up here. Always interesting, as you see. Always interesting and never a doubt. You remember this was the number we were looking at in the crude oil, which was uh, 2183. I was 2185. It came down, and it made its first low right here when I set out this morning. When we were still up at this level right about here, I said, look for a uh, bounce coming here, and we did. It went back up again, but look how it did it, folks. This is why you don't have to read tape. All you have to do is just look at some of these little patterns here. And there it is right there. What do they call that pattern? Johnny's got his placard card up, folks, and it says A, B equals C, D. Folks, I do not like, uh, um, what do you call it, hockey. Uh, but I watched the game last night in honor of my good friend Mark Douglas, who loves Hockey. I went to three hockey games in my life. Uh, two of them with the the the, uh, uh, the Olympic guys from 1980, uh, Jack Hughes and Jack O'Callaghan. And uh, uh, oh my God, what's Tim's last name? I can't remember. Anyway, there's the A B C D folks. And Mark used to say A B equals C D. Well, that one had almost a thousand dollars in it. So and it's still this is still a valid pattern. Now what we've had happening here right now is a little bit of bullishness. So you can see here we have three higher bottoms over today. Now this is just remember, this is only three hours of trading. But if you're trading for three, you know on an eight minute chart or a four minute chart, that's like trading a weekly chart. See, it's not about how much money you make. It, oh no. Oh no. I don't tell me I'm. <laughs> I think I've lost data. Just give me a second here. Ah, see, no data feed. This sucks. All right, boys and girls. Unfortunately, I've got to reboot this little puppy, or we're not going to be getting much. So let me close this out, and I'll be back with you in just a second. I'll continue talking here. If you have any questions, you can call me at eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. I'll be back up and running in just a little tiny bit. Here. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter. Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. 
All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We were watching here, and the uh, unfortunately, I my, I didn't realize this was a half hour before the show, and I wasn't getting data on crude oil. It stopped right here. This was the one three five pattern. And of course, you see that it failed, so now it's dropped, you know, quite a bit. There's your ABCD pattern right here. Now, uh, what you want to be watching for is potential, and I say uh, potential here because just a second, sorry, folks. Let's go back to the hourly chart here. Remember, I'm just a little ABC merchant. That's all I am. And we're going to take a look at this. There was your there was your first high this morning. There was your second high. And now we're going to see if that's an ABCD pattern right here. So there's your AB leg right here. Okay. There's your CD leg right there. The low was 8.083. And it was supposed to come in at 8.079. That was three ticks from where it probably is, so that may or may not be a bottom. The way you'll find out is if a bottom is this. Go to back down to your eight-minute chart, and the first thing you'd want to be doing is to see if this is really going to be a good move here, is you want to see what the 3A2 is going to be on the way back up. And there it is right there at 81.22. Now, I realize this is micro, not micro trading, but it's, it's when you stop and think, folks, this is an $81,000 contract. It's not a $2,500 or $20,000 contract like corn or soybean oil or something like that or cattle or hogs. No, this is this is big time money. And then we're doing it in the gold. Same thing is happening. You know, it's all big time stuff. Okay, now let's move on uh, uh, to the next one that we have here. Al, I want to give you a code red here, buddy. There is just no way in heck. That I'm going to be able to do the whole hour today. My throat is red hot. I'm drinking ice water. It melts faster than I could possibly imagine. So I'll play a recording or something at the second part of the show out because I, I'm not going to be able to do it. I, I If I do, I'm probably going to ruin myself for three days and I'm not going to do that. It's just not worth it to my health and it's not uh, not too much uh, of importance for my, for my appointment right here. Okay, now let's take a look here with this you could give a little uh, heads up here on the old uh, here there's the uh, okay there is the uh, S&P here this morning now we had a breakdown we did not make new lows on the day which is still possible so the 3A2 rally back would have been right about here where we're trading right now at 15.19 and you got to put your stop here about 15.26 a short term pattern but these are the four patterns that I lost on <laughs> I only did 382 retracements the last time we did these on Friday. But this time I'm going to be doing ABCD because that's uh, that's what gets you to the <clears throat> that's what gets you to the promised land. All right, now let's get. Uh, hold on, do we have a caller coming in? Hold on, just a second here. Uh, okay, now it's going to give me a heads up. I'm going to make this last five six minutes here. I think without too much trouble because. This is an incredibly important day. Let me explain to you why I think it's an important day, folks. Here is the Dow Jones. I went through all this stuff on this pattern right here, okay? 
this pattern this pattern was wrong because I didn't realize it could go higher than that and it did it exploded higher 400 points first two hours of the opening yesterday stopped right there at 39,565 okay now was I off by one day I don't know but that's a perfect Gartley in here and if it is this is what you're looking at folks you're looking at a B C D that means we're gonna take out the February lows at 37,500 and if that's the case that's gonna be a pretty bad move you notice that the market is coming down very very sharply in the Dow Jones contract itself and also the futures too but all we've done now let's just show you here's where we all we've done now is uh, we've come up and we have you see the see the action yesterday we've taken all that away plus some okay you see everybody that bought this stuff yesterday boom now here was a signal that I sent out last night I said if that's the case okay here's Monday all right I said if that's the case you know, watch for the first 382 today. And, of course, this was – here's Tuesday. So Tuesday was already – this is what we were talking about for today, all right? Now, it already made – it already made this small ABCD here last night. Uh, shucks. Oh, man. There was your ABCD leg right there, okay? There's your 382 right there, folks. And it's the 382 off of the high. Look at that. Right there on the money. That, that that's 500 points folks I uh, know 450 points now we're bouncing back a little bit here right now we've rallied uh, 80 points in the Dow uh, which is a pretty good rally but uh, I think this one's getting ready to go a whole lot lower the last rally we had here went from uh, 3960 to uh, rallied 100 points so this goes to 34 to 3490 and there's 100 points right there so these these are equal rallies right now there and there let's just show the folks what we're watching and there's where we are wow we, okay there's that rally and there's that rally so that's what we're watching here today <clears throat> if we close badly today in the S&P and also in the NASDAQ by badly I mean if we were to close down in other words to take a 250 point gain in the NASDAQ and take it all away and close lower we're going to look at something really serious to the downside, folks, because that means it's trapped a lot of people, and that's not a good sign when that kind of stuff, you know, happens. So I just hope that uh, makes sense to you because that's what I'm looking at as we uh, go through here. Now, I save everybody the time, and yes, we will look at Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Whew, wow. <clears throat> thought I was going to be able to do this show today, but boy, it caught me by surprise. Okay, let's do an hourly here on Mr. Appel. I still think this stock's going to 200, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, here's where we are so far. Now, given yesterday's action, you can see today's high. That This is wrong, folks, because what it's doing is it's picking the 382, but there's a bigger 382. You see, that's not a 382. That's a that's a that's uh, off of this high right here. You'll see you come down. There's your 382 off of that high. What it's, this is doing, it's disregarding this, and you can't do that in trading. You can't do that. Looking, Well, you can't. You can do anything you want, but that's not the right thing to do. Okay, here's where we are. I think we're going to come down to this level right here. All right, that's $200 a share. We're at 209 And if we look at that, you're going to see from your low here up to your high, there it is right there. There's your 382. Now, we get below that, then there's there's trouble in River City for Apple. But right now, that should get to that point. I'm going to wait and find out if that's going to be the case, but that's what we're going to be looking at. Al, that's it for me, Cowboy. I'm, I'm losing it big time, folks. I'm very sorry. I'll try to be back tomorrow. And uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. Uh, and, by, and may God bless. And I'll see you folks on the flip side. Uh, Tomorrow, God willing, and usually, usually she is. So, sayonara for now, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Sorry about this, Al. There's nothing I can do about it, buddy. Well, but very often, historically, we would look back and say, oh, if crude is running like that, that could impact the, the market negatively. So, all of those things that we used to use 
as benchmarks and the VIX index. I mean, look at this. The VIX index, I, first of all, I like what's happening here with the VIX. The VIX is at 13.33, unchanged. So I love, I don't like this. When the market makes an all-time high and within a day, almost sometimes the same day, the VIX index starts screaming to the upside. I like when it ignores it and says, ah, I'm not worried about the market. Uh, it's just doodling, sort of messing around in the 13s. To me, that's a good sign if you are bearish. So I'm going to be watching this very closely because if the VIX index um, – Stays in the 13s. Even let's just imagine the Dow closes down 155, right? The S&P tries to rally, but it doesn't really get gone at any strength, and it closes only up six. And then tomorrow's a weak session. Um, what you want to see is that the volatility index takes its time. So there's a lot of room to go into the 20s and 30s at some point when the market really takes a hit. I don't like it when it happens all too quickly. That just says you've run out of ammunition for the downside. I'll be back. Dow's up, uh, 